So in the last video, we learned how to initialize a window and draw basic shapes in Raylib. In this video, we will learn how to listen for keyboard and mouse input. So in Raylib, we can check if the key is currently being pressed down. If it's not being pressed down, if the key was just pressed, which only registers once, and if the key was just released, which also only registers once. In order to check if the key is down, we would have to write if is key down and then the key code. So the key code, we would just start off with key and then underscore and the um, key. And in this case, it would be Q. And so if Q is down, then we print Q is down. Alt Conversely, if Q is up, we print that Q is up. And let's comment these two out. And if we were to run, uh, we would see that Q is up. But then if we hit Q, it says Q is down. And Q is up, Q is down, just like that. But you can also check if Q was just pressed or the key was just released. And in this case, we would do is key pressed and is key released. And in this case, the key is W. So if we were to run this again, we would see that if we press W, W was pressed, and then once we release it, it prints that W was released. The same principle is applied for checking if the mouse button is down or not. So here, we're checking if the mouse button is being held down and zero stands for left click, the left mouse button. And here we're checking if it's up, if the left mouse button is up. And then the one is for the right click. And here we're checking if right click was just pressed. And here we're checking if right click was just released. And so if we were to show it here, let's first comment this chunk out. save and then run we would see that left click is up and then when I click left click is down and now if we were to uncomment this code and comment that out we would see that every time I right click it's press release press release I press and then I release and you can see that over here and as always you can always check the Raylib cheat sheet for all of the functions and there will be here the input related functions there's also functions for the gamepad input the mouse input there's a lot more actually set mouse position get mouse position and for for even touch controls you can get the position of the touch and that's pretty much it